Hey everybody. Okay, on this episode we are going to be cloning our fruit trees. Now as you can see here, this is my apricot. Um, it's got some fresh growth. Um, no bugs are eating this at the time. So it seems to be doing pretty well in my area here. Um, I did get some, some bugs eating this one. This is the uh, pear. You can see the holes, but I, I killed the bugs. So I'm gonna try to actually clone this one because I have a lot of new growth. And um, down here, I don't really want this branch. So the tree's gonna go grow upward. And we just wanna, we got a nice piece here that's about three inches long. And that's some fresh new growth. That's the type of stuff that you want to clone. In the springtime right now, this is the time, if you're going to ever be cloning your fruit trees, uh, this is the time to try it. You, know, you try not to do it on a really cold day. Like right now, it's it was warm today, but it's cooling, cooling down. I probably should have done this earlier in the day, but um, this should be fine. So I'm going to cut this off. And also over here, you, you can see my blood orange trees. They're doing extremely well. You can see how much green, you know, fresh new growth is coming out. That's a sign of a healthy tree. Um, in the soil down here, I got, there's worms. Just reach down here, you can see worms probably just crawling through there. Um, so, and down here I got, all these little little shoots coming out um those right there are also the ones i'm going to try to clone right now and they look real healthy look how green and healthy those look so we have a lot down here that are really not needed they're gonna go be cut off and put in the trash anyway so why not try to save some of these um so that's what we're gonna do today First of all, I'm gonna grab my cutters. Let's go ahead and come back over here. Okay, this is the branch. I'm probably not gonna use, so, because I want the tree to get taller. Uh, I'm just gonna cut this one off right here. Now, I'm gonna cut as close as you can. You could probably do use razor blade, it's, it's better, cleaner. And this is a sterilized knife. I dipped it in rubbing alcohol. Okay, there it is. Don't let it sit too long. Now, I'm just gonna set it over here. Okay, I'm gonna cut these ones off. I'm gonna do this quickly. Okay, down here, you can see, I'm gonna cut this one as close as I can to the tree. Okay. And I'll set that one over there as well. I'm gonna get Try to get a couple more here. I'm gonna get the kind of the biggest ones I can use. Um, this one up here looks kind of big, but this should be fine. Okay. I'll just cut all these off. Okay, the other, this one's big. We'll just choose the best one, so just um, okay. So let's just pick all these up at the ground. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now what we're gonna do is set these up here. Okay, got well, these are all my blood orange trees. These little ones. And so what I'm going to do is take off the bottom leaves. I'm just gonna strip these off with my fingers right here. 
take my fingernail and just kind of break them, bend them, pinch them off like that. Okay. Make sure you have you know clean hands. Okay, these all are fine just how they are. I'm gonna just break off some of the, the two of the bottom leaves. And it's a lot easier with two hands, but I'm trying to film this. Okay. So the two leaves above the cut, I'm breaking off. So I'm gonna get the biggest ones here. Let's see which ones look the best. You don't want to go too big if this is too woody right here. If this if this is doesn't bend easily, this may not actually root as easily. So you want to go make them kind of soft, but not too small. Um, okay, that's probably good enough. Now here's the trick. Everybody has these in your your refrigerator. You got some leftover potatoes. Right? Everybody's got some of those every once in a while. Nobody ever eats every potato. Okay, and then you have cinnamon. Um, most people have that in their cupboard. Not everybody. And some people have a honey. Just, uh, this is organic, which is going right along with what we're doing. These are organic potatoes. So everything here is organic, except for the cinnamon's not, but... Okay, so what you want to do is take your cinnamon. One, two, three, four, five. Just five, five times. Okay, now you're gonna dip this. I'm just gonna go uh, just a dash, just to get it. So you just got a little bit, a little bit on there. Then that allows it to stick to the. Uh, cinnamon. Now you don't want to really overdo it but make sure it's covered. Okay. So it's completely covering that tip. I'll even put a little more on just to make sure it's completely covered. Okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that there and with the scissors I had find my scissors. Oh, there they are. Now, this is the trick. I'm going to take this. My scissors, you can see. I'm going to poke a hole. I'm going to go about a half inch down. I'm going to open the scissors up a little bit. Just like that. Just kind of chop at it. You want to go in about half inch. Okay, now I'm going to take that plant. Oops. Make sure this is standing up straight. Oops. Now take that. Still got all this, all the cinnamon on it. I'm going to go ahead and. Hook that right in the hole. Okay, you want to make sure it's in there firm. Okay, it's very that's solid. Now you can even see there's a little seal around it. It's good. Okay, now as this potato kind of dries up or rots, it actually will feed this little tree. And the moisture inside will um, also keep it hydrated. So it's, it's kind of like one of those things that you can use that, you know, you don't want to go to the store and buy some rooting hormone. Because um, you can go to the store and buy special rooting hormone um, at a you know, local nursery or, or whatnot. But... You know, it's Sunday, I don't want to go spend money on, on stuff right now, and it's all the stores are closed, and I just want to get this done, because it's a Sunday and have time. 
So I'll dip this again. Okay. Now this one going in about an inch, by the way. Okay, that one's looking pretty good. Um, let's just do, let's do another one here. So we've got five. I just happen to have this in my fridge, so um, this is what we're going to do. It's five potatoes. I was thinking about putting them... Okay, now i got way too much on there. I don't, I don't do a lot of honey. It's, the cinnamon is more of what you want. Um, the honey kind of just helps it stick. Now I'm going back. Okay, when you're pushing in, make sure you pull from here. Put your fingers here. Grab it, the base, and push down. Don't break it, but make sure it's wedged in there. Solid. Okay, looks like I got two more. Let's just try to speed this up. Um, again, this is, see, it's really hard to do with one hand. But just get those juices flowing in there, in there. It'll help the plant. So it looks like you can kind of say opened it up. Um, let's try this again. Remember, break those leaves. You want to break these ends off. The end. The, the first two or one. Okay, dip that in just a little bit to the honey. Swoosh that around. Push that in about an inch. That one looks real pretty. Uh, and that's what's cool about this. It's just, you know, you're recycling not having to buy soil and it's something that uh, just looks cool and it's kind of fun to do and it doesn't cost any money so um, then I'll do a second video in about three weeks um, with an update on how these um, are looking so one more and then we are pretty much done with this and then there's one last trick okay things looking good I'm gonna put a little more honey just around the top take this chopstick which everybody a lot of people have left over from sushi just dab a little bit around the top okay each one it's kind of seals it off kind of like a paint not a paint but like a sealer like a so now that moisture is going to get locked locked in there there's no way you know bugs can get in there um, so everything completely sealed off and the funny thing is you can eat all this get some cinnamon honey and cinnamon you could just you know dip it in your tea and use it as a sweetener as well so um, that tastes really good honey and cinnamon together I just uh, tasted that Wow so now um, what I'm gonna do is I got my cover, this is gonna go on. Okay, now see here, this is a, a cover has holes in the top. So what it does is basically create like a humidity dome. I'm just gonna close this to about a quarter shut. Cause you can open it halfway, close it all the way. But I'm gonna just give it a little bit of airflow in there, not too much. Now it's gonna keep the warmth inside and the humidity up. Um, I might even spray a little water in there every once in a while just to make sure the humidity is high. And uh, that's pretty much it. So we will be back in touch um, in a few weeks just to see how these guys are doing. And this, the original mother, mother plant here will be much bigger. I already tried the uh, the fruits um, that I got this year were really good so it's worth cloning 
a tree that you really like because um, I could have you know five new trees put them on different parts of the property or or whatever whatever you want to do with them so these are this is a really good plant it does really well here so can't complain no bugs are eating it so that's about it so hope you enjoyed this uh, like share uh, subscribe if you like and we'll see you soon in the next episode. Bye-bye.